Hi, Chester Elton here with my recommendation for my weekend book club. I want to rec recommend a book this week that's a little different than most of the business books I recommend. It's The Prosperity Paradox by Clayton Christensen. Now, you might know Clayton Christensen from The Innovator's Dilemma and some of his work at the Harvard School of Business. This one is really interesting. You know, I know a lot of you are working on innovation. How do we innovate our companies? How do we innovate for our customers in building up your business and building up your industry? What's fascinating about this book is he talks about how innovation actually can lift countries, can lift communities out of poverty. And I think sometimes we forget that around innovation, that as we innovate and we grow our companies, we add jobs, we add taxes to local tax bases. We create opportunities for people to send their kids to university, to uh, buy a home or buy a car. And the prosperity paradox really does talk about how you can lift nations out of poverty. There's a lot of great lessons in this book for us around looking at our businesses, not just as profit centers, looking at them as forces for good. He talks about being a, a missionary in South Korea when South Korea was one of the poorer countries in the world. And that journey to one of the most innovative and most prosperous. So if, you, if you're looking to innovate, there are some great ideas in this book. What I think is even more valuable is the idea that it creates prosperity. Let's not forget that as we grow our companies, we grow our people, we grow our communities, we grow our nations. And I just think it's a wonderful, wonderful message and a new way to look at innovation. Well, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I hope you'll buy it. I hope you'll get some great lessons and I hope you'll value the innovators and the innovations in your company. Take care. Cheers.